All right, so today we have to take all of this and all of this and combine it all into something over here. <laughs> this should be an interesting day. A lot of changes happening in the big U world. I know it may not seem like we took a lot of time away, but it's been a month since I like stopped testing the daily uploads. I uploaded every single day from the end of February into the end of March and then stopped there and wanted to start uploading like once a week for a few weeks. Very helpful for me, but I, I just, I do love creating. So like it was a little challenging telling myself to like, hey, take a, take a step back. With that, a lot of behind the scenes started happening during this process. I've really been honing on into the setup and the environment around me to like just utilize it to its best benefits. I started doing a lot more product type stuff, product shots, product videography over on this area here. And just looking at the layout of the room, I, I finally like had some like ideas on how I could utilize a lot of this good gear for many situations, but yet still be able to trim the fat. If you guys seen yesterday's video, that's like been a big thing of mine right now. It's like finding out what I don't need in areas so that way I can eliminate that and it's just less things that I have to deal with on a daily basis. Also, side note, on top of everything, if you guys didn't know or haven't seen, I made a separate film channel as well. So I have my gaming channel, I have this channel here, which is just more me, my thoughts, my interaction with the online world. And then I also created a channel to where I could just utilize this Sony a7S III, not really have any dialogue and just like, I don't know, get that, make some high quality stuff with some good music and just test the camera and exposing it in different environments and just showing like beautiful shots in different locations. I could just go on as to why I made it and what it's all about. But if you guys wanna go check it out, link is in the description. Good place with content lately. I'm very happy. I don't feel like I'm overburdened. I don't feel like I'm like, hopefully not boring anybody, but you know, we'll see. I'm sure some people will get tired of me real quick. Liquid Death also has sparkling water, by the way. Like how sick is that can? Come on. Again, not sponsored, not affiliated, but maybe I should be because I've actually been using a lot of these to mix G Fuel. Side note, by the way, if you can get sparkling water from Liquid Death, uh, good, good water to mix with like the G Fuel powder and specifically the hydration. I've been using these to make my Phaseberry hydration. Oh my God, again, not paid, nobody's paying me today to tell you all this. It's just, I'm giving you guys a little tip for how I make Salamon G Fuel. All right, let's get to it. Okay, while you guys and gals see a huge mess, I see progress, okay? And I have all of this stuff by now down to the science. You guys have seen me change my setup multiple times, but the big major change that's gonna be going down uh, with this is I'm going to be turning away from the uh, floating monitor, which means I am gonna have to patch all that stuff up. I thought about even going ahead and patching these these ports, because as you can see, I would not recommend these from Amazon, by the way, because like, I think the first week I had them, the bottom screws just straight up busted out. But since I have my focus right for my stream PC, usually setting in the center anyways, I noticed that like little gap that I had here, like it wasn't worth just having that little space be clearly floating for like the hassle of running cables through there. Plus on top of that, it's really hard to find long cables that support high resolution, high frame rate. Because as some of you guys know, the main Asus monitor that I'll be using is a 4K 144 Hertz monitor. So I need to have cables that can actually support that kind of resolution. So, but nonetheless, we're making progress. I honestly think that I can get this knocked out today at this point like it's it's a it's a rhythm a routine i've gotten myself into uh i have cable management under the desk i'm going to put more cable management from under this one under here as well there's going to be a lot more cables under this and that's something that originally i wanted a minimal setup over here because i didn't want all those cables but you know at the end of the day i'm trying to free up a lot of space so i can focus more on 
product photography, videography, stuff like that, because obviously that's a really good little side gig, I guess. But nonetheless, making progress. Okay, so everything is set up on this desk that needs to be set up in ways to utilize whatever it is that I'm using via you know, streaming, editing PC, gaming PC, the roadcaster, the internet, everything over here on this side of the room is done and good to go. So in the last month or so, I've really, really been settling into this room, like I mentioned in some of the previous vlogs, and I've actually been utilizing this space more on a day-by-day -day basis, whether it be doing the live streams, creating the YouTube videos, doing product collaborations with brands like G Fuel, I've actually been utilizing the space in this room. And during that process, I found out a couple things. First and foremost, I realized with the setup that chasing this like perfection is so unrealistic based off of what I do on a daily basis. For example, pretending that cables don't exist and creating this weird like OCD that like, if I have a cable showing that I have a imperfect setup so people will judge me. I actually think I remember a buddy of mine, Brian at Bad C Tech, huge YouTuber does like the majority of his content based around this type of stuff. Like he goes over reviews of things that would go in your setup. So essentially like he is the connection between what you are going to put into your setup. So you would think a guy that's like built his whole entire brand around that would just have this insanely clean setup. But like he mentioned in his 2020 or 2021 setup tour video, the reality is, is behind the camera, is it rarely clean? The most of the time for us creators, we have things stacked, we have cables, untucked and unmanaged. We are constantly moving things and testing new products that it is too unrealistic to pretend that we actually live a lifestyle where everything is just picture perfect. And I have fun trying new things. So for a while, I just wanted to get rid of the floating arm. I wanted to just like stop using this portion of the room and that portion and having a whole bunch of cables that connected. Like check out how much stuff is left over now that I've done this. So again, this is like everything, right? This is what I need to stream. This is what I need to edit. This is what I need to game. I got the gaming PC right here. I got the streaming editing PC over on the left. I got the 4K monitor and then I got the color calibrated monitor, both from Asus. And basically what I'll do is I'll swap this one back and forth between the two PCs. So when I'm editing, all the timeline, everything will be over there. My like coloring will be on that screen with extra files. And then when I'm streaming, the game will be here and like the stream setup will be over on the left side. Like what you see right now, OBS running over here. Everything that I need to do on a daily basis is on this desk now. If I'm live streaming, if I'm creating content for myself, if I'm creating content for customers or, or brand collaborations, it's all here. And if like, okay, a cable shows, but like I create quality content, who gives a shit? But what's astonishing to think of and like a big goal of mine this year, and like why I'm trying to do all of this, is like, look how many just extra cables and things that were being utilized by like creating this like clean environment. This whole table in itself, like I don't need it now, this extra preamp, all the cables like I just mentioned, come into this room through a couple extra things and here, like this was the monitor that I was using. This was another monitor that I was using, a desktop. Like I can eliminate and get rid of all of these things. They no longer have to be in my life. That is why I am changing things around. As I mentioned yesterday, that's why I'm getting rid of just so much extra stuff. Again, you know, in the future, I'm definitely gonna be investing into more things, but things that like, you know, hold a greater value and actually helping me out on my day-to-day -day activities. You know, it's really fun to like document all this. Like it's, to you, the viewer, some of you out there, you may see it as like back and forth because like, I, I know where you are, a lot of people are in their perception. Like when you have other things in life that are more important or, or like that take up your time for your career. Example, you work for somebody or something you do for your job is in a completely different direction. As a viewer, it's easy to see somebody like me constantly like moving this room around, constantly trying new things and thinking like, oh my God, this guy can't make up his mind. But again, some of you guys gotta realize at this point, I am lucky enough to say that this is my job. Me taking the time today to make this video alone is something that I do for a living at this point. 
point. It gets me better at realizing the things that I can do in an environment like this to maybe help others out there so that way you guys can save a buck or two. Or it just creates entertaining content that keeps you guys like, wondering what I'm gonna do next. You know, at the end of the day though, it's just, this is this is just who I am right now. This is just the content that I make for my channel. With that being said, I do wanna remind people like you don't have to do what I do. You can be happy with your setup. You can make plans for the future to work for stuff, to change your setup, but you don't have to constantly be changing things around and, and feeling that you need to keep up with me. I just wanted to make that very clear that like this is what I do and I don't want any viewers feeling burdened because I'm constantly making changes. I do hope at times I inspire some of you to think outside the box utilize what you have in different ways to be more convenient. Anyways, gang, I wanna hustle the rest of this out, put all these cables away. I wanna break down this table and get ready to sell it on like local marketplace. If you guys watched today's vlog all the way through, type new setup vibes in the comments down below. Curious to see who sticks around. And just a friendly reminder that I do stream on another YouTube channel, which is my gaming YouTube channel at youtube.com backslash Sorbiggy. Be sure to check that out. We also stream on Twitch a few nights a week at twitch.tv backslash Sorbiggy as well. All links can be found on my website at biggie.co. All right, like, comment, subscribe. That's all I got for you guys today. I'm out, peace, deuces.